How old are you? 26. 25. Do you think dating is going to get easier for you as you age? No. Yes, because you grow more confident with age. And no, because boys don't mature, they get worse. The higher you get to 30, like the more mature they get, but the more stories I hear, the worse it gets. So, so do you think it's that men aren't going to be more mature when they get older, or are they just going to be going for younger women? Ooh. I think both. Well, I mean, what do you think men want? when they get older though. Hot, young, tight <laughs> girls. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> so when do you think you hit your wall versus when you're in your prime? 26 is your peak. I think 34. I plan to get bangs and a convertible at 34 <laughs> and also maybe a boob job. And I think I'm gonna kill it. At the Don't look at my boobs. <laughs> what boobs? <laughs> Bro, don't hurt my feelings. I'm doing something. You did it to yourself. Come on. <laughs> so I want to tell you about an experience that I just had. Um, I was on a date and I just left it. I told him I had to go to the bathroom and I just straight left. Um, I got to give you a backstory though, right? So this guy, he had been trying to get my attention in the DMs for a while. And I will always ignore him because honestly, I really just wasn't interested. Like, at all like he just didn't he wasn't my type um i just wasn't interested in him whatsoever but he will always send me like hard eyes and try to start a conversation with me da, 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 but i will always like soft curve him so i went to this event right and it was like a it was like a creative event and they was doing like a cypher or whatever and he was there and i thought that he looked a little better in person now mind you i was a little on so maybe that's what school uh, uh maybe that's what kind of what's the word i don't know fuck my perception i don't know but i was like hmm i, I could put my number so so i'm with kella and i'm like you know what like i'm gonna go over to him i'm gonna give my number so i'm gonna go over to him i tapped him we hugged because we familiar with each other from instagram and then i said give me your phone this nigga out his phone and goes to his instagram i'm like why are you going to your instagram i'm trying to put my number in your phone he started smiling so hard like that nigga was so hyped that <laughs> I was even um giving him my number. So I give him my number. We text the next day and then a date is planned. So I go to this date, right? And we sitting there talking about like it was going cool and all. And so we started talking about like dating culture and like dating standards and stuff like that. And he's like, yeah, um to be honest, he started saying something along the lines of how he was watching Fresh and Fit and how like they be having like a bunch of here and i'm like okay so what is for to you and he's like oh a whore is something so, yeah i'm like what's a whore to you he like a whore is just a girl that don't got no morals and she out here sucking a in and then he he then proceeded to say that women that are like that will never get cuffed up they'll never be in a relationship da, 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 da. just all this misogynistic bull by this point, I already know like that's not a man that I'm going to take seriously at all. I already know. But I'm just letting him talk because I just want to see how much more chaotic this conversation gets. I ain't going to lie. So then we start talking about like um, dating standards or whatever. And he's like, yeah, to be honest, when you're dating, you kind of got to settle a little bit. I said, what you mean by settle? He's like, like, for example, he said, I want a light skinned girl with like a fat ass that's super thick. But like, that's not what I need. So I'm going to, you know, get with somebody. He's like, I'll deal with somebody that's dark skin or brown skin, um, even if that's not necessarily what I want, because they might be what I need. Here's the first part that <clears throat> this is a, a, the delusion of women. She didn't give him no attention. She didn't find him attractive. She didn't. She wasn't interested in him. Cool. That's that's fine. Um, and then all of a sudden, um, you seem live and now you give him a chance. I always think that women just don't hold true to their, uh, standards and preferences because I gotta tell you this, how is a man going to view you when you've been rejecting him the whole time and then all of a sudden you're giving him a chance? He's going to view that as, you know what, now I'm going to make you an example. That, I think most men would do that. Most, and most situations like that, that's how it happens, right? Where if you never thought he was good enough to begin with, why change now? I mean, now you're giving him a chance. Well, you, you, you never gave him a chance to begin with. 
So men will see it as, okay, you turn me down all the time, and now whenever you feel like it, you accept me. So now I'll make you an example. I never think that's going to... Women, I will say for women, that never goes well. If you don't like someone, stick to it. Don't change your mind. And second of all, her calling him misogynist when he said women that are promiscuous having sex with a whole bunch of men and that's not good for them that won't lead them to a relationship is misogynistic like the, the where's the logic in that it is true that you are giving yourself to a whole bunch of men how are you going to get a relationship out of that you know how are you going to get a a good decent man to take you seriously it's ridiculous Admittedly, what he was telling his preferences was, yeah, it's weird, but I mean, it was his preferences. So, whatever. I mean, there are women that says they only like um, black guys. They only like tall men. Okay, and so on and so on. So, really, okay, great. He said his preferences. Um, it's a little bit weird that he says what he needs and what he likes. It's like... That having a girl that's skinny is not necessarily what you need. So if that part is a little weird, him saying his preferences, but he will, um, you know, I guess change his preferences or, you know, ignore his preferences. Yeah, I guess that's fine. It's saying what he needs is then talking about looks. It's a little weird, but it's just his preferences. So yeah, he's just like, um, yeah, like I deal with like a dark skin or a brown skin girl, even if that's not what I want, because it could be what I need. I'm just like, that's not even the worst part, y'all. He also told me, I forgot to mention this part. He was like, honestly, initially, just based off your Instagram, I thought she was a He's He's like, like, I thought she was active. I thought she got around. He was like, um, but you see, like, I still gave you a chance. I said, no, I said, I gave you a chance. Let's be clear. And then he was quiet as shit. I said, yeah, I gave you a chance. I said, you was in my DMs heavy, heavy. And I would just ignore you. I would ignore you. But I saw you with the cypher. I walked up to you and I'm like, you know what? I, I give you my number. I gave you a chance. You didn't give me no chance. So at that point, like, I forget what, what the fuck he was saying. Because it was a whole bunch of bullshit. But I'm like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Go to the bathroom. Call my fucking Uber. Like, get me the fuck out of here. I can't, like, these men... Like, but that just made me come to the conclusion that, you know, if you see the stuff that I'm into and you see the stuff that I post and how I'm about sexual liberation and women living their best lives um, sexually, but you still are like having these conversations with me, I feel like it's really just an ego boost that I'm even going on a date with you. I, I think that's what it was. It's just an ego boost for you. And to be honest, that's the case with a lot of men to be like, if we being real, like it's just an ego boost. You really just want me on your arm, to be honest, because I'm a pretty bitch. Um, and to be honest, I, I, I'm going to be real. I don't even think that is used to even having a bitch like me approach him. And I really did myself a disservice by even like going against my initial thoughts when it came to him. Um, but that was crazy to me. Like if you thought I was a whore and you hate whore so much, you're literally only going on a date with me for an ego boost or you just want to fuck me. So, and I did also ask him, I'm like, this, this is another part I forgot. I asked him, I'm like, okay, so why you want to date with me? Because I ain't gonna lie, I definitely had a phase. So, I don't, I don't even know where this is going. He like, oh, well, to be honest, like, you just got, like, a lot of sex appeal to you. You pretty. I, I, I love your body. That's literally it. I'm like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be back. I'll be back. No, and the ball was kind of um, deluded too. I mean, he even said it. Based on um, her um, Instagram, she was probably promiscuous. You know, she and she even said it, right? She said that she gives her body to a lot of men. She's very into sexual liberation. You know how that is. So, ball should have stuck to, to his guns. I'll say this, and I've said this in other things. Women's beauty has always been a weakness to men. Even though their character is not what men like, men will deal with it because they want to hit it. And I think this is what, I think that guy wanted to hit it. 
You know, he wanted to have sex. He didn't think about a relationship or any of that stuff. So, he should have stuck to his guns. I, I, he would have been more respectful or respected if he stuck to his boundaries. And this woman is ridiculous. You know, she pretty much fits in the type where all she is is just a body. Because at the end, she's talking about it, right? Well, what do you like about me? And he just pretty much just said her looks. And she's surprised or she's disgusted by that? Why? You pretty much said you were into, you know, sexual liberations, which is giving your body to a bunch of men. Um, you pretty much present that on your Instagram. And you even said that, you know, your eye, you're, you're just arm candy to women. I mean, to men. So you're, this, this is the type of woman that is, not the only thing good for her is her looks her body right uh, and she realizes it and also don't realize it this is a woman that will she'll be fine right she'll she's probably young and she's pretty but this is the type of woman will either become a baby mama not have anybody and be 35 plus and still single so, you know, this is, I could see that cycle. I could see that path for this type of woman. Um, and misogyny, I mean, she's just, she's just a bunch of red flags. She won't realize it until it's too late that all she's ever been good for is her body. And she, she uses it too. She only gives men her body. So, yeah, it's, uh, just red flags. I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. You want to tell us a secret? No judgment. So, about a year ago, I found out I was pregnant, and I was messing around with a few people at the time, like four, mm. and I told all of them I was pregnant, and they all paid for a procedure. Ooh, okay. That's, um, so four different guys. How much did they pay you each? $600. All right, so you made $2,400. And did you have any idea who it was, or you just had no idea? Do you feel like you know timing-wise? Um, I know exactly who it was. Mm. But, hey, they were all in the same two-month period, so I just told all of them. And nobody questioned you? Like, are you, no, are you sure it's mine? Okay. I'm Would a you... good woman, so they didn't think that I was, like, out there. Mm. But you were single yeah. at the time. None of them were your man, right? Yeah, I was single. And you were having unprotected sex with everybody? Over a couple months. Yeah, I was. Uh, did any of them last? Like, are you with any of those guys now? Or are you still single? Well, they're all around. But, you know, I want to be single. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing, right, Anonymous. 2400. All right, guys. If you'll let me explain it to you, I, I'll try. You're okay. a woman that was with a man for six or seven years and you gave him the highest honor a woman can give any man on the planet. You gave him children. You gave him not only one, you gave him two. And yet you did not require him to even bestow the title of a wife upon you. So you go back out into the market, older, with two children, you, and you expect someone in that market to accept you older and bestow the title of wife upon you? That's what that's how men look at it. Right, wrong, or indifferent. And then being in LA, one of the most competitive markets for women in the world. Competition is stiff out there. 